नमस्ते इफ यू हैव एनी मेडिकल कंडीशन प्लीज डू नॉट फॉलो दिस वीडियो कंसल्ट योर डॉक्टर फर्स्ट लेट अस प्रैक्टिस विघ्ना लेवल योगासन आस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू होल्ड ईच पोज फॉर वन मिनिट इन द बिगिनिंग यू मे फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट सो यू मे रिलैक्स आफ्टर थर्टी सेकेंड्स और फार्टी सेकेंड्स बट ट्राई टू maintain the pose on both sides for equal length of time let us start with prayer please sit in any meditated to comfortable posture and up namaskar mudra take a deep inhalation inhale सहना सहनौ भुन सह वीर कह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओ शांति deep breathing breathe in slowly steadily and deeply breathe out slowly steadily and completely abdominal breathing when you inhale stomach should come out when you exhale stomach should go in when you breathe in abdomen should bulge out when you breathe out your abdomen should sink in chest should not move continue deep abdominal breathing Let us practice standing asanas first. We'll be holding each asana for one minute. If you're a beginner or if you cannot hold any of these poses, you may relax in between or you can hold for 30 seconds. Tiriyak Tadha Asana. Keep your feet one foot apart, parallel to each other. Inhale, raise your arms up, stretch out your arms. Exhale and bend towards your right. Hold it with normal breathing. breathe in and out normally tiryak means slanting transverse or oblique tada means mountain people suffering from severe low back pain should not attempt this pose pressure should not come in your shoulder blades or in your shoulders stretch from your lower back lower abdomen You should feel a nice stretch in your oblique muscles. This asana is also known as slanted palm tree pose or swaying palm tree pose.
Inhale, slowly come up. Stretch up. Exhale and bend towards your left. This asana tones the back muscles. It stretches the lateral side of the body. It improves blood supply to intercostal muscles of the body. It plays an important role in reducing accumulated fat in and around the waist. Inhale, slowly come up, stretch up. Kati Chakrasana. Keep your legs one foot apart. Inhale, place your right palm on your left shoulder, take your left arm back. Exhale, twist your trunk towards your left and look back over your left shoulder. Breathe in and out normally. Kati means waist. Chakra is wheel. We twist our waist like a wheel in this pose. This is known as standing spinal twist pose. Do not twist your feet. Keep them parallel to each other. Knees should not get any twist. They should be relaxed. Inhale, come back. Exhale, relax. Inhale, place your left palm on your right shoulder. Exhale, twist towards your right. Look over your right shoulder. This asana improves blood circulation to the waistline. It improves blood circulation to pancreas and kidneys. It opens up the chest. It detoxifies the body. Inhale, come back, exhale, and relax. Mary Pristasana. Keep your feet one foot apart, parallel to each other. Inhale, raise your arms up and place your fingers on your shoulders. Exhale, bend down, bring your trunk parallel to the ground. And with further exhalation, twist your body towards your right. Normal breathing. Waist rotation pose or spine and back pose. Meru means spine, Prista means back. People with severe back problems should avoid this asana. Spine should be parallel to the ground. Both the elbows should be in one single line.
inhale come back to the center exhale twist to the other side normal breathing This asana strengthens the shoulders and back. It promotes flexibility of the spine. It is good for people suffering from low blood pressure. This asana tones the abductor muscles. Inhale, come back to the center and with further inhalation, slowly come up, relax and release your hands. Tiriyak Vrikshasana Come to Vrikshasana From Vrikshasana, with exhalation, Slowly bend towards your right. Breathe normally. Swaying tree pose or slanted tree pose. Again, Tiriyak means slanting, transverse or oblique. Vriksha means a tree. One may keep the arm and the knee in the beginning. People with knee problems should avoid this asana. Inhale, slowly come up, release your arms, release your leg, Vrikshasana on the other side, exhale, bend towards your left. Inhale, exhale normally. This asana reduces fat around the waistline. This pose improves and tones the leg muscles. Improves the balance in the body. Improves posture and concentration. It strengthens the ankles. Strengthens the hip joints. Forms the back and chest muscles. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring down your arms and leg and relax. Sitila Tadasana, relaxed palm tree pose or relaxed mountain pose. Stand straight and tall with feet slightly apart. Hands hanging slightly away from the body. Relax your fingers, no tension in any part of the body. Breathe slowly and normally. The standing relaxation pose. Siddhala means relaxed. Tara is a mountain or a palm tree. Whenever you are tired while practicing standing asanas, 
can relax in Sitilatadasan. Garudasana Eagle pose. Garuda means an eagle. Slowly inhale, bend your left knee. Bring your right leg over the left knee. Move the right foot towards your left calf. Hold your ankle. Stretch your arms to the front. Bend them at your elbows. Take your right arm from inside the left and adapt Namaskar Mudra. Hold it with normal breathing. People with knee problems should avoid crossing their legs. People with shoulder problems should avoid crossing their arms. Initially one can keep the leg slightly bent and slowly you can stretch out the knee. Inhale, release your arms, release your leg, repeat the same on the other side. Normal breathing. This asana develops ankles and removes stiffness in the shoulders. Improves attention and concentration. It improves balance in the body. Strengthens and tones the leg muscles. It removes cramps in the calf muscles. Inhale, release your arms, release your legs and relax. Sitila Tadasana Sitila means relaxed. No tension in any part of the body. This is standing relaxation pose. Now let us practice sitting asanas. Slowly come to sitting position. The first asana is Supta Vajrasana, reclined diamond pose. Just come to Vajrasana and slowly place the palms and the ground fingers facing forward. Exhale and slowly bend back. Place your elbows one after the other on the ground. Now slowly go back and place your head on the ground. You can stretch your arms over the head or you may place your palms on your thighs. Breathe in and out normally. Supta means reclined or lying down. Vajra means a thunderbolt or a diamond. People with knee problems and stiff backs should not attempt this pose. This asana is an extensive stretch for the back and quadriceps. It lowers the blood pressure. It is a very good pose for runners. Now slowly the support of elbows come up to Vajrasana. If you cannot come up straight like this, 
యు మే రోల్ టు వన్ సైడ్ మండూక ఆసనం ఫ్రాగ్ పోజ్ మండూక మీన్స్ ఎ ఫ్రాగ్ మేక్ ఫిస్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్స్ కీపింగ్ ద థమ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ప్లేస్ దెమ్ ఎట్ ద నెవెల్ నెకల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద హ్యాండ్స్ టచ్చింగ్ ఈచ్ అదర్ అండ్ ఫింగర్స్ ఫేసింగ్ అప్వర్డ్స్ ఎక్సేల్ అండ్ బెండ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ ట్రై టు ప్లేస్ ద ఫోర్ హెడ్ ఆన్ ద గ్రౌండ్ హోల్ ద పోజ్ విత్ నార్మల్ బ్రీదింగ్ దోస్ యూ కెనాట్ రీచ్ ద గ్రౌండ్ కెన్ కీప్ ఎ పిల్లో ఆర్ ఎనీ సపోర్ట్ అండర్ ద హెడ్ అదర్వైజ్ దే మే ఫీల్ బ్రెత్లెస్ people with knee problems and stiff back should not attempt this pose this asana improves blood circulation to abdominal organs this pose helps in keeping diabetes in check it helps in digestion and cures constipation people suffering from amebiasis get relieved Inhale, slowly come up, relax your hands, stretch out your leg and relax. We will practice Parvatasana, mountain pose. Parvata means a mountain. Sit in Padmasana. interlock your fingers of both the hands and stretch the arms above the head palms facing upwards bend the head and lock the chin in between the collar bones this is called jalandra bandha breathe in and out normally to cross the chin in between the collar bones one may pull the head forward and lock the chin people suffering from cervical problems should never attempt this pose Inhale, raise your head up, release your arms. Now we'll go to Matsya Asana. Matsya means a fish. Slowly place your palms on the ground and lie back. Now slowly push your chest up and place the crown of the head on the ground. Hold your big toes and place your elbows on the ground. Breathe in and out normally. Inhale, slowly come back to Padmasana. Stretch out your legs. Do the ankle movements, relax. Now we'll repeat Padmasana with the reverse crossing. Now fold your left leg first and then your right.
पर्वत आसन This asana is very good for thyroid gland. It improves blood circulation to abdominal organs. It improves digestion. मत्स्यासन This asana is good for thyroid. Spouse elongates the spine. It opens up the chest, good for breathing problems. It has all the effects of padmasana. Slowly come up. Stretch out your legs and move your ankles. Relax. Akarna Dhanurasana. A shooting bow pose or archer pose. First variation here we will practice. Inhale. Hold your right big toe with your right hand and lift big toe with your left hand. Bend your right leg at the knee. Exhale, pull the leg to the ear. Thumb should come closer to your ear and raise your elbow up. Elbow should be pointing upwards. Hold it with normal breathing. A karna means till the ear. Dhanur means bow. The final pose looks like the arrow pulled till the ear and hence the name. People with spinal problems should avoid this pose. In the beginning, one may hold the complete foot. Holding the big toe may be a little difficult. So you can hold hold the foot and pull it to the ear. Or even one may hold the foot with both the hands and pull it to the ear inhale relax exhale stretch out your legs and repeat the same on the other side This asana improves the range of movements in the hip joint. This asana tones glutes, gluteus maximus, glutes simply and upper hamstrings. This asana tones the shoulder girdle. This asana strengthens the shoulder muscles.
रिलैक्स परिवृत्त पार्श्व उपविष्ट कोणासन रिवाल्वड सीटेड साइड स्ट्रेच पोज परिवृत्त मीन्स रिवाल्वड पार्श्व मीन्स साइड उपविष्ट मीन्स सीटेड कोणा इज एन एंगल फ्रॉम दंडासन spread out your legs as apart as possible inhale raise your arms up exhale bend towards your right hold your right big toe with your right hand and place your right elbow on the ground stretch your left arm over the head and hold your right foot try to twist your body as much as you can and if possible place the back of the head on your leg look up hold it with normal breathing people with back problems should avoid this asana inhale release your leg slowly come up come back to upright position we'll repeat the same on the other side exhale bend towards your left This asana strengthens and flexes the hamstring muscles. It improves blood circulation to the abdominal organs. It improves blood circulation to the kidneys. This asana reduces fat around the waist. inhale slowly come back butterfly and then relax sitila dandasana relax staff pose from dandasana move your feet slightly apart feet falling sideways freely toes pointing in opposite directions move your hands back fingers pointing backwards lean little back hang your head freely you may place your head towards your right or your left or back this asana relaxes the body completely now we'll practice ardha baddha padma paschimottana asana half bound lotus forward bend pose fold your left leg and come to ardha padmasana take your left arm back and catch hold of your left big toe inhale raise your right arm up exhale bend forward and hold your right big toe with your right hand place your stomach on your thigh and chin on your shin bone hold it with normal breathing if you cannot catch the left foot with your left hand you may hold your right foot with both the hands Ardha means half. Baddha means caught or bound or restrained or locked. Padma is a lotus. Paschimottana means intense back stretch. People with back problems should not attempt this pose.
Inhale, release the leg, come back. Stretch out your leg. Repeat the same on the other side. Inhale, raise your arm up. Exhale, bend forward. Normal breathing. You cannot catch hold of your right foot with your right hand from the back. You may hold your left foot with both the hands initially. This asana elongates the spine. It stretches the hamstring muscles. It is good for constipation and digestion. It lowers the blood pressure. Inhale, slowly come up. Stretch out your leg. Relax. Purvottanasana. Here we will practice a simplified version of Purvottanasana. It's an upward plank or reverse plank pose. From Dandasana, move your hands slightly backwards. Bend your legs at the knees. Keep your feet one foot apart. Exhale and push your hips up. Try to bring your trunk and legs parallel to the ground and look back. Hold it with normal breathing. People with wrist injuries should not try this pose. People having vertigo problem should avoid this pose. Purva means front. Uttana is intense stretch. In this pose, we stretch the front part of the body intensely, hence the name Purvottanasana. This asana stretches the anterior part of the body completely. It strengthens the arms. It opens up the chest. It stretches the back muscles. This pose rejuvenates the body. It brings back the energy. It relaxes the back muscles if performed after forward bending. It is a counter for forward bending pose. Exhale, lower the hips to the ground and relax. Sitila Dandasana, relaxed staff pose. Danda means a staff. Sitila means relaxed. This is sitting relaxation pose. As Sitila Tadasana is a standing relaxation pose, Sitila Dandasana is sitting relaxation pose. Now we will go for Vishtra Asana, camel pose. Vishtra means a camel. Kneel down on the floor. Keep the knees and feet one foot apart. Place your palms on your waist. Inhale, expand your chest, open up your shoulders, push your hips forward. Exhale, bend back and place your palms on your soles. Move them down as much as you can and push your hips forward. So that your thighs come perpendicular and trunk parallel to the ground. Hold it with normal breathing. Do not hold your breath. You tend to hold your breath in this asana. In the beginning, one may keep one's hands on the waist and bend back without placing the palms on the soles. People with high blood pressure and dizziness should not attempt this pose. This asana increases blood circulation to the head region. Hence, memory power and concentration will increase. It removes stiffness in the shoulders and back. 
helps to cure kidney diseases. Persons suffering from drooping shoulders will benefit from this asana. This asana is good for hunchback. The total spine is stretched and toned. Inhale slowly release the legs and slowly come back. Relax in Sasankasana. Now we will practice Ardha Matsyendrasana. Half spinal twist pose or half lord of fishes pose. From Dandasana, fold the left leg at the knee, place the left foot under the right buttock. Fold the right leg and place the right sole on the ground by the side of your left knee. Take support of your right hand, inhale, raise your left arm up, exhale, twist towards your left and cross your arm over the right knee and hold your right foot lift your right hand and try to touch your right thigh hold it with normal breathing Ardha means half. Matsendra literally means the king of fishes and is also name of a rishi. Inhale slowly come back. Release your leg, relax, stretch out your legs. Now repeat the same on the other side. This asana improves blood circulation to the pancreas. It is very beneficial for the people suffering from diabetes. It improves blood circulation to liver, spleen and kidneys. It detoxifies the body. It opens up the chest. Vital organs like liver, spleen, intestine get toned. It tones the glutes and inner hamstrings. Spine gets the elasticity. Reduces the fat around the waist. This asana cures the constipation. Tones up the kidneys. Stretches the triceps and improves flexibility of arms. Inhale, come back. Relax. Stretch out your leg. Ardhanavasana Half Boat Pose From Dandasana While exhaling lean back Bend your arms at the elbows Simultaneously Raise your legs up to 30 degrees angle You may interlock your fingers and Place your palms at the back of your head Or you may even place your elbows on the ground Lower back should not touch the ground Hold it with normal breathing Ardha means half And Nava means a boat People with bad lower back Should not attempt without strengthening the back. This pose 
tones and strengthens the abdominal muscles and back muscles it reduces fat in the stomach it improves blood supply to liver spleen and gall bladder Inhale, come back and relax. We'll go for Marjala Asana. One, first variation. Kneel down on the floor. Keep your knees and feet one foot apart. Place your palms on the ground. Your trunk length away from your knees. Now, as you inhale, look up and dock your lower back. Push it down as much as you can. Exhale, take your head inside and push your back up. Repeat it a couple of times. Inhale, focus on your breathing. Focus on your lower back. Stretch it completely. Exhale. Marjala is cat. Tiger also belongs to cat family. In English they call it as cat stretch or tiger breathing. Inhale. This asana strengthens the back and core muscles. This is one of the best poses for back pain. Exhale. It opens up the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly relax. Sit back in Sasankasana. We will practice second variation of Marjala Asana. Again, come back to Marjala Asana position. Now, this time, when you inhale, look up and move your leg up. Take your right foot towards the head. Now, when you exhale, take your head inside, leg inside. Try to place your forehead on your knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now relax on the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now you'll hold the position with normal breathing. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Hold it with normal breathing. This asana also strengthens the back and core muscles, opens up the chest, increases blood supply to your lungs. Exhale, take your head inside. On the other side, inhale. Now 
नॉर्मल ब्रीदिंग Exhale for a down your knee. Relax, relax in the sand kasana. Now I'll practice third variation of Marjal Asana. Come back to Marjalasana position. Now this time, with an inhalation, raise your right leg and left arm up. Keep your leg straight, elbow stretched out. Hold with normal breathing. Keep pulling your arm and leg in opposite directions, as if two people are holding your foot and hand and pulling in opposite directions. Breathe in and out normally. This asana strengthens the back muscles and core muscles. It increases blood supply to the lungs. It reduces fat in the stomach. It strengthens the shoulders. Exhale, relax, repeat the same on the other side. Inhale, normal breathing. Exhale, relax, relax in the sand kasana. Now let us practice prone asanas, phala kasana. Slowly come forward, keep your body in inclined position. Push the region between shoulder blades up, till the pelvis, contract your glutes and abdominal muscles, focus on your abdomen, retract the shoulder blades, hold it with normal breathing. People with weak wrists or with any wrist injuries should not attempt this asana. Phalaka means plank or a bench. This asana strengthens the arms, shoulders and lower back. It decreases fat in the stomach and strengthens the core. It tones and firms the glutes. Plank, relax. Sarala Bujangasana, easy cobra pose. 
place your elbows on the ground keep your forearms shoulder width apart and slowly with inhalation raise your trunk up try and push your hips down hold it with normal breathing saral means easy or simple bhujanga is a cobra this is a preparatory pose for bhujangasana it strengthens the back and shoulders exhale come down bhujangasana 2 second variation of bhujangasana you know interlock your fingers place the palms on the ground under your chin inhale slowly come up open up your shoulders push your chest out push your shoulders down hold the position with normal breathing or one may take deep breathings keep the feet together heels touching each other it strengthens the back It is good for thyroid problems. It stimulates the back and shoulders. It opens up the chest. It increases blood circulation to the lungs. This asana keeps the spine elastic and strong. Thoracic muscles will expand. It improves digestion and bowel actions. This asana helps to cure slip disc. Exhale, slowly come down and relax. Now we'll practice Makara asana, crocodile pose. Makara is a crocodile. Now place your elbows on the ground and make cups of your hands. Place the chin in the cup and slowly move your elbows away from your body. Try to keep your elbows closer to each other and away from your body. Push them as much as you can. Breathe in and out normally. This asana cures cervical problems. It's a very good pose for shoulders. It stretches the triceps. This pose is very good for the lower back. It stretches the upper back and opens up the shoulder blades. Improves blood supply to thyroid gland. It stretches the latissimus muscles. Inhale, come back and relax. Bala asana, child pose. Bala means a child. Slowly raise your right arm up. Place the head on your right hand. Your right ear on your right bicep. Place your left elbow and left forearm on the ground in front of your chest. Fold your left leg and relax completely. It relaxes the whole body. And now this is a relaxing pose in prone positions. Sitila Tadasana in standing position. Sitila Dandasana in sitting positions. In Balasana in prone position. We'll repeat the Balasana on the other side.
Slowly turn around and lie down on your back. Relax in Savasana. Now we'll practice Supine Asanas. Supine means lying on the back. Prone means lying on the stomach. Our first asana is Suchirandarasana. Hold your right leg, fold your left leg, place your right foot on top of your left knee on your left thigh just below the left knee hold your left leg with both the hands right hand will go from inside the right leg we are passing the hand in the eye of the needle hence it is suchirandrasana hold the left leg with the interlocked fingers exhale pull it towards the chest right foot should touch your chest your left side of your chest hold it with normal breathing eye of the needle pose But literally suchi means a needle randra means a hole Inhale, relax, release your legs, stretch out your legs. Now repeat the same on the other side. Exhale, pull it to the chest. Normal breathing. This asana stretches and opens outer hips and lower back. It strengthens the lower back and reduces the pain in the back. It increases the range of motion in the lower body. It improves circulation throughout the legs, hips and back. It reduces pain and stiffness in the hips. It stretches the glutes. It is good for flatulence. Flatulence is gas releasing problem. Inhale, come back to the center. Release and relax. Now we'll go for Ekapada Ananda Madhirasana. Single leg happy baby pose. Bend your right leg at the knee. Hold the right foot with both the hands. Pull it towards your face. Exhale, raise your head up and try to place your big toe on your nose. Breathe in and out normally. Yeka pada means single leg. Ananda madira means an exhilarating experience when a baby is happy he does this pose he takes his toes and keeps them in its mouth people with cervical problems could not raise their head up instead keep the head on the ground Inhale, release your leg, stretch out your leg. Repeat the same on the other side. Exhale.
This asana stretches the glutes and inner thighs. It strengthens the core, neck and shoulders. Inhale, come back, release your leg, head on the ground, stretch out your leg. Supta Padangustasana 1 Reclined hand to toe pose. Slowly bend your right leg at the knee, hold your right big toe with your fingers. Now slowly straighten your right knee. Keep your right leg straight and tight. Place the left palm on your left thigh. Keep the left leg straight, toes stretched out. Hold it with normal breathing. Supta means reclined or lying down. Padangusta means big toe of the foot. Again, this is a simplified version of Padangusta asana. Release your leg, exhale, bring it down. Repeat the same on the other side, hold your left big toe and straighten the left leg. Breathe normally. This asana stretches the hamstrings and calf muscles. It is very good for back problems. Release your leg, exhale, bring it down. Relax in Savasana. Ardha Sirshasana. Sirshasana is headstand, Ardha means half. In this level, we will learn how to practice Ardha Sirshasana first before going into complete Sirshasana, full Sirshasana. From Vajrasana, interlock your fingers and place them on the ground. Keep your elbow shoulder width apart. Place the crown of the head on the ground and back of the head in the cups. Lock your head completely and now your head should not move as the whole weight will come on the neck. Lock your head properly in the hands. And distribute the weight equally on both the elbows and equally on elbows and hands. Now exhale, raise your knees up and walk forward towards your head. Keep your legs straight. Walk as much as you can till the trunk comes straight perpendicular to the ground. Now try to push your heels down as much as you can. If you can you may place your heels on the ground. Try to push your elbows down so that much load will not fall on your head and neck. Hold it with normal breathing. Do not twist your head. People with cervical problems should not attempt this pose. 
People with hypertension should not attempt this pose. It has the effects of Sirshasana and it is a preparatory pose for Sirshasana. Sirshasana is, is the king of all asanas. It improves blood circulation to head and brain becomes agile. It activates pituitary and pineal glands. Now exhale, walk little back and place your knees on the ground, sit back in Sasankasana. Do not lift your head up, keep the head on the ground. Head should always be in contact with the ground. As there is more blood circulation in the head in this pose, if you lift your head up immediately, you may feel giddy, dizzy or heavy headed. So relax in Sasankasana immediately for some time. And to Calm down the body to counter this pose, we will practice Sarvangasana. In this level, we will learn Salamba Sarvangasana 2. Shoulder stand with support. Second variation. Come to Sarvangasana, Salamba Sarvangasana 1. People with cervical problems should not attempt this pose. People with hypertension should never attempt this pose. Now slowly place your hands on the ground. You may interlock your fingers or you can place your palms on the ground. Try to push your hips forward and legs back. Try and keep your body as straight as possible salamba means with support sarvanga means all limbs this asana boosts immunity power This is very good for thyroid problems. It helps in curing common cold and cough. And it has the effects of Sarvangasana. Halasana, plow pose. Hala means a plow. The final pose resembles a plow. Exhale. Bring down your legs and place your toes on the ground. You can stretch your legs and stretch your feet. Hold it with normal breathing. It is beneficial in indigestion, gas, constipation and liver disorders. It activates the pancreas and reduces diabetes. It strengthens the back muscles. This asana rejuvenates the abdominal organs. It activates the thyroid gland and reduces obesity. Inhale, come back. Slowly bring down your trunk to the ground and legs to the ground without lifting your head up. Keep your knees straight. Now to counter this Sarvangasana cycle, we will practice Ardha Matsyasana, half fish pose. Place your hands under your legs, palms on the ground. Move your elbows inside. Open up your shoulders and push your chest up. Take the whole weight on your elbows and with an inhalation raise your body up, push the chest up and exhale place the crown of the head on the ground. Push the chest as high as possible and head as back as possible. Hold it with normal breathing. People suffering from giddiness should not practice this asana.
Asthma people will get benefit from this pose. It opens up the chest and helps in deep breathing. Blood supply to the thyroid will increase. It stretches the spine, increases the lung capacity. Person suffering from cold get benefit from this pose. Now inhale with the support of your elbows, raise your head up, place the head on the ground and relax in Savasana. Now I'll practice Supta Udara Karshana Asana 1. It's a lumbar twisting. Udara means stomach. Akarshana means pull or stretch. When you twist your abdominal muscles, your lumbar region also get twisted. Hence it is called lumbar twist. Stretch out your arms to the shoulder level. Palms facing upwards. Fold your legs. Bring your heels closer to the buttock. Keep your feet together. Now exhale, twist your body towards your right and head towards your left. Your left knee should come over the right knee and left foot over your right foot. Hold it with normal breathing. Udhara means stomach. Akarshana is pull or stretch. This asana gives a nice stretch to the lumbar region and, and relaxes the back muscles. It improves proper blood supply to abdominal organs. It tones the oblique muscles. Inhale, slowly come up, exhale on the other side. Inhale, slowly come back. Exhale, relax. Stretch out your legs and relax. Relax, stretch out your legs and relax in Savasana. Savasana for 5 minutes. Move your head to the right, to the left. Come back to the center. Make yourself comfortable. Keep your feet slightly apart. Feet falling sideways freely. Heels facing each other and toes in opposite directions. Hands little away from the body, palms facing upwards. And all fingers relax. Relax your body completely. And now no more physical movements. Relax completely. Focus on your breathing. 
focus sa ane abdominal movements. Observe how beautifully your abdomen is bulging out with every inhalation and sinking down with every exhalation. Relax your body with every breathing, with every exhalation. Do not let go your mind, stay focused. Let go your body. Relax. So slowly come up, turn towards your right or your left. Come up to sitting position, keep your eyes closed, do not open your eyes. Sit in any comfortable meditative posture. Adapt Namaskar Mudra. Take a deep inhalation, inhale. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha 
सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुखभाग भवेत् ओम शाम तिशाम तिशाम तिहि जेंटली रब योर पाम्स एंड गिव अ नाइस मसाज योर फेशियल मसल्स एंड टू योर नेक मसल्स थैंक यू सी यू अगेन विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो